Hey guys, what's up? So I'm in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this really cool new model I just designed. Check it out, it's an origami gaming controller. See? And the joysticks on here, it's got joysticks, they actually move just like that. Isn't that cool? So you can pretend like you're playing a video game. And yep, and it's, it's super easy to fold. And yeah. And I wanna mention that this model is actually <coughs> based on this origami Xbox game controller with the movable joysticks. And this is designed by Jeremy Schaefer, and he made a tutorial for this model right here. So I'm not going to teach this, but he made the tutorial for that right there. So yep, so this is by Jeremy Schaefer. And this is my version right here. See? Check it out. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to show you how to hold it. And what's also cool about it is that it can be a finger puppet. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Okay, so before I show you how to fold this origami controller, I want to show you a couple other models that I designed recently. Check it out. This is an origami gaming console. And yep, and this is basically kind of like a, a box kind of thing. And I don't know if I'll teach this because it looks pretty easy to figure out, but if you guys want me to, I might. But yeah, but I want to show you this other model that I will teach someday. This is an origami TV, and yeah. And um, it's got a nice stand here, and it's three-dimensional. Okay, you can let it stand like that. So for this model, click right here when I do that video. Alright, now on with the gaming controller. Here goes. Alright, ready, set, here goes. Okay, so for this model, I'm going to use a 16 square of Kami. But you could use a sheet of printer paper cut square. So, let's begin white side up, and we're going to divide this into thirds. So, um, fold this so that this is equal to this. Let's just estimate it. And then now, um, just fiddle with the folds until they align. Like this. Alright. Just like that, make a crease mark. And my as well repeat on this side, too. Alright. Now, white side up, and fold this edge to these two crease marks. Okay, and rotate and fold in half. Okay, just like this. Alright, now we're gonna do is we're gonna fold in half, but we're not actually gonna fold it, we're just gonna make a crease mark. Just right in the middle. Like this. And unfold. And now we're gonna fold in half the long way, and same thing, we're not gonna crease it, we're just gonna make a crease mark. So I'll make a crease mark in the middle, right on top of that crease mark. So now you have an intersection. Okay, now we're gonna do is we're gonna take so orient it so that the open side is facing you, and take this point and fold it to the intersection of the crease marks. And make sure you hold the layers now so you don't slide. Like this. And repeat on this side. So fold this point to here. Okay, so here we have the controller taking shape, and if you, if you just want a simple controller, then you might like it just like that, but now, let's, I'll show you how to make this now, so, um, let's make, well, let's, let's shape the controller first, and then I'll show you how to make the joysticks, so, to shape it, um, I'm sure you know what to do, just fold these corners behind, like this, to taste, just shape it to taste, you can just kind of watch me do it here, <laughs> I don't really need to talk for the shaping, Okay, so there is the controller. Now, if you want to put the movable joysticks on there, like on this model, <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, now here's how to do that. So, uh, this is really to taste also. So just fold this in. There's no guide mark. Just fold it about like that to taste, and then crease that sharp, and repeat on this side. And you can try and match it here. All right, and now we're gonna open it up. There's two slots you can choose from. There's a white slot and there's a colored slot. Well, actually there's 
yeah, there's just two slots. But it, it doesn't matter which one, just choose a slot. And we're gonna open the, the joystick up. And we're not gonna we're not gonna squash it, we're just gonna open it up like this, so it's 3D. Alright? And repeat on this side. So either slot is fine, and just open it up. Like this. And there is the joystick! Isn't that cool? Yep. So there it is. So it, it looks nice like this, but I think this edge is kind of too far down. So I'm going to show you how to kind of raise it up a little bit so the handles kind of come down better. And it looks a lot nicer. So let's kind of flatten the joystick first. And turn over. And this is this is actually kind of a fun step. So what we're going to do is we're going to unfold these. And I'm going to fold this up in between this point. So where this crease hits the edge to so that point. And this crease right here. And yeah, this is a new, this is a, a lightning bolt I just, I just designed recently. And I, I, I didn't teach this on YouTube yet, but I'm, I might in the future though. Okay. And fold this up in between those creases. Alright. And you can just, you, you can squash right here. Just however is fine. This is the back of the controller, so yeah. Just squash it however, like this. Just make sure that's flat. Alright, and there it is. Now you can remake the joysticks like this. <clears throat> yep, there it is. So now, go play your video games. <laughs> Alright, so there it is. So, um, there is another thing I want to show you that it does. You, I'm, you saw this in the intro, but um, it can also be a, a finger puppet. So, to do that, you just undo this top edge, and you open up this slot just enough so you can put your finger inside and just insert your finger inside there, like this, and you can hide this edge by just folding it like that behind. And there is the controller finger puppet. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty cool. Maybe you can make them for all your fingers and you'll have controller claws. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it with the with this one, the one by Jeremy Shaper. And again, for this model, here's his, here's his tutorial for that. Oh yeah. It's, it's, it's easier on this one, actually. There's no edges. Yep, an Xbox controller finger puppet. <laughs> yep. I actually kind of like this one better than than mine because it's more detailed. Yep, because it's got a cross walker, cross rocker here, and a joystick here. <laughs> yep. All right. So, anyways, um, there you have. Oh, you can change it back. I'm just doing that. All right. So, I hope you guys enjoyed folding this controller and find it interesting. And make sure you subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Alright, bye-bye.